Lightning hits. Maybe I should be sitting on a rubber tire. Today on In the Woodyard, we're gonna make the oak bin bigger. We're gonna add to it. Here we go. So yesterday we added to the oak bin here, we put a uh, trailer load full into the bin. We did re-splits right here and I just cleaned up all the debris that was right here on the ground from the splitting and I just kind of tossed it into the uh, trailer here. Now, a lot of this is debris that came from the original split from the processor. And uh, then I just picked up the stuff that was on the ground here and I just drug over, drag, drug over a couple pallets here and there's some more there. Gonna add another row here and I might narrow this down now because I want to get to where I can turn, make the corner and this thing's getting, seems to be getting wider as I go this direction. I must have flared out this way. So what I'm going to do is narrow it down to just two pallets, I think. And what I've got left for oak, I should be able to make the distance going that way um, by putting it in. I'd be able to make it go a little bit higher also. So we're going to uh, move this trailer out of here, add some uh, pallets and uh, tie them together and then we're going to go get the trailer that's hooked up to the tractor you can see it way over there we're going to pull that over here that's probably two full cords in there at least and we're going to do resplits on that right now Well, I got everything in place. I got the uh, pellets in place and I made some really tall walls. So we'll see how that goes. Figure the higher I go, the better because there's more wind up higher, more sun up higher and uh, we can get more in a smaller space if you go high. So I got some of these bigger ones out here and stood them up vertically. So they're a lot taller than some of the other ones as you can see, this is a shorty here. So I'm gonna continue with some of the taller ones like this and just see if we can get more in a smaller space. I got the splitter here ready to go. I got uh, the wood backed up in the trailer and we're gonna start up the uh, splitter and uh, split some wood. So it's time, it's time to make little pieces of wood. Uh-oh, trouble's on the way. You got wood, huh? Where'd you get that one? Seaward, Alaska. Nice that, look at this shirt. You guys gotta see this one. This is a good one. I got wood with a beaver. I gotta get one of those. Where beaver is always in season, yep. I like it. That's a good one. <laughs> Thank you. 
So that's all that's left. Uh, we took a little break there. Bert came out and helped me a little bit. We added on to the pallets right here. He brought some over with the uh, skid steer, brought some pallets over. So we added on another section here because we were getting too, uh, too close with the wood. Uh, we had a little thunderstorm come through. We had a little bit of rain on us and I can hear it booming over that way and booming over that way. I just looked at the radar and it's supposedly supposed to stay to the west and to the east. We should be right in an open spot here where there shouldn't be any more rain. So hopefully, it, I don't care if it rains, I just don't want to get hit by lightning out here, but we'll see what happens. So I'll have the camera running. So if I get hit by lightning, you're going to see it. So I got just a little bit. I'm going to finish up hopefully before any more rain comes or lightning. getting a little bit of rain and I saw lightning again but blue skies are coming I'm gonna wait till the rain is done so what I did is the wind's so strong right now I'm over on this side of the uh, dump trailer here and there's no rain right here I'm not standing underneath it like I know you're not supposed to but I'm just kind of on the edge of it here so it's dry right here so I'm just gonna wait I don't know five ten minutes and I think it'll be done raining that cloud should be gone by then and I can get back to splitting I only got a little bit left to do I got to get it done you know I like to finish the job so Hopefully when it quits raining, I'll get back at it. This probably isn't the best place to be standing if I did see some lightning because this is metal and it's up in the air. It's probably the highest point here. So if lightning hits, maybe I should be sitting on a rubber tire. <laughs> I don't know. It hasn't boomed now in about five, 10 minutes. There was only one or two and then it quit and it just started raining, so I think most of the lightning I saw was over that way, which that's way to the east and south, and the wind is going that direction. So I think it'll be okay. I'm just kind of right on the very edge of it. I just looked at the radar, I'm on the very edge of the storm. So it's not much of a storm, it's just the one little cloud, a cloud burst of rain. So we're just gonna take a little break. When I come back, it's gonna be done raining. Well, folks I just backed up the trailer into the spot to receive some more wood that will be processed I put the battery on the charger or the charger on the battery that's what I did because it was getting slower and slower and slower because we have not had it hooked up to a vehicle so it's not getting recharged and we've been dumping a lot with it doing wood so I hooked it up so it'll be all charged up and then I'm gonna charge mine also my trailers this is Bert tra Bert's trailer here I'm gonna get that charged and uh, then tomorrow we're going to do some cutting of something. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do, but I'm going to do some cutting. Whether it's, it might be the processor, it might be chainsaw. So you come back, we'll find out. It's going to be fun. Between now and then, you're going to go on my channel, you're going to watch some videos because you're good at it. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m. Good night, Irene.